Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, now verses 7, 8, and 9. Here we go. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed because it was said by some that John had risen from the dead, and by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the old prophets had risen again. Herod said, John I have beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such things? So he sought to see him. So here, just a short vignette here. Uh, there are intense things happening. Now, first of all, he killed John. He did. He had John the Baptist beheaded. And yet there are more workers coming. There's more supernatural things coming. There's more supernatural things happening. Who is this? So is it, is it, who is it? Is it John? Is he risen again? Is it one of these old prophets that's come back? And so on. There's all these questions. Who's doing this? And so we see this uh, interesting business. He wants to see him. Herod is an interesting case. He's actually a very interesting case because at different times he was influenced by John. He sort of held back. Other times he didn't have control of himself. And so he, you know, he winds up with the case how John is killed. But there was, there was a spiritual spark in Herod that kept, kept coming back, at least for a period of time. He, he wanted to hear John. He wanted to hear from men, the, the, the servants of God. And yet he was a murderous bad guy. And so, you know, it's kind of hard to reconcile these pieces. But I take that very hopefully at the bottom. He sought to see him. He's, he's curious for sure, you know, about all these supernatural things. But I think there was still something in him that yearned to be better than he was. And there's something that God has put in every person. And it, sometimes it's buried pretty deep. But God is helping us. He will help us. But we need to be prayed for. Please pray for people. Pray that they will be led to the stronger spiritual desires. And no, in the end, God will not always have what he wants. The people will not always come across the line and give their heart fully to Jesus. But we leave that with God. We work and we pray. So Herod is going to be sort of a bad outcome. I know it. You know it. But still here, there's this special help here. He sought to see him. I think we can take that as a, an insight that there is something deeply laid that's spiritual in every person struggling to come to the surface in it. In many cases, it will never make it because of their own intense choices in sin. But, but in some cases, even the most hardened people can be turned and turned to the kingdom. So let us work in that hope and keep those kinds of thoughts in mind. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we're going to meet different hard hearts along the way. Sometimes they will be people very close to us. May we not lose hope, Lord. Please help us to work for them. Maintain and strengthen their spiritual curiosities, Lord, and bring them along. We know you have mighty plans and that you will, if, if it were possible, you would save every person. So may every person's heart yield to the influence of your Holy Spirit. We pray for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. May the God of heaven and earth be for you, be with you, be with those loved ones, friends, people in connection that you're praying for, because God wants them. Jesus wants them badly. God's blessings be upon you today.